Hello viewers, Assalamu Alaikum. You are welcome to eSchool, an online platform of academic English. Today I am going to discuss with you the past part of basic concepts in linguistics. I hope you will you will remain with me till the end. Let us start. First of all, we need to know the definition of linguistics. Linguistics is a scientific and systematic study of human language. It involves the analysis of language form, language meaning and language in context. What actually um, uh, linguistic uh, mean is that uh, it is the it is the it is it is um, actually scientific methods uh, scientific study of human language. It applies scientific method to conduct or operate formal studies of speech sounds, grammatical structures and meaning of languages. There are uh, several, uh, 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 there are um, uh, three branches, three major branches of uh, linguistics. They are descriptive linguistics, historical linguistics and applied linguistics. Uh, what is descriptive linguistics? In short, we can say it is a study of a structure of a language. Historical linguistics it is a study of, de uh, of uh, development in languages in course of time. And applied linguistics it is the apl application of linguistic uh, theories, description and methods to, to the solution of language problems. Today, mm, I will try my best uh, to complete at least uh, descriptive linguistics. There are several um, uh, branches of descriptive languages, uh, uh, linguistics. They are um, phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, discourse, analysis. First, we, need, uh, we go to phonetics. What is phonetics? Uh, phonetics is the, uh, actually the study of um, sounds of a language. It deals with how speech sounds are produced by vocal apparatus, uh, uh, include, including lungs, vocal cords, tongues, etc. In short, we can say uh, uh, phonetics is actually the study of speech sounds. It studies how speech sounds are articulated or produced, transmitted, and received. Phonology. Phonology is the study of speech sounds including phonetics and phonemics mean, means the study of phonemes. It is an overall description of the sounds of a given language. We can say phonology is um, actually uh, uh, the study of, of how speech sounds function in a language besides um, phonology studies the ways how speech sounds are organized. Um, it can be seen as uh, function phonetics uh, of a particular uh, language. Uh, morphology. Morphology is the study of work, uh, word formation and structure. It is the study of minimal uh, meaningful units. Uh, meaning morpheme. For example, uh, the word incorrect. Here we see uh, the uh, word is composed of two uh, uh, morphemes, namely in and correct. Okay, then uh, we can um, uh, we can uh, say in short, uh, morphology is the study of the formation of words. It is the branches of linguistics. Mm, that break uh, words into morphemes mean, means the uh, smaller units of words. Uh, it can be considered as the grammar of words as um, uh, syntax is the grammar of sentences. Then syntax. Syntax is the study of sentence structure it describes how linguistic elements uh, including such as um, words phrases and clauses 
are put together to make coherent sentences in a language. Actually, um, syntax is the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a natural language. Semantics. Semantics uh, is the study of uh, meaning in language. It, uh, it is the study of linguistic meaning of uh, morphemes, words, phrases and sentences. Uh, Subfields of semantics uh, are um, to their logical semantics and phrasal or sentential um, uh, semantics. Logical semantics uh, is, act is uh, usually concerned with the meaning of words or the uh, relation among words. Uh, on the other hand, we see phrasal or sentential semantics is concerned with the meaning of uh, syntactic units larger than uh, words. We can say a uh, uh, sentence. Um, uh, in this way, uh, we can see semantics is the linguistics and uh, philosophical study of the meaning in a language. Uh, and it is concerned with the relation between signifiers like words, phrases, signs and symbols and what they stand for in reality means uh, their denotations. Then pragmatics. Pragmatics uh, is actually the practical use of um, of, um, of the meaning of a word. We can say pragmatics looks at how context affects meaning. Pragmatics, um, pragmatic meaning of an utterance is often different from its literal meaning. For example, um, um, uh, here I have done an uh, example. Uh, I am expecting a phone call. Uh, here we see uh, this sentence may have variety of meanings. It may be uh, this sentence may uh, mean uh, a request to leave the uh, uh, the phone line free, or it may, it um, may be a reason for not being uh, being able to leave the house. Uh, here we see um, uh, what pragmatic actually do is um, is context may affect sentence meaning. Uh, I have done a second example which, which I will explain later. Uh, here um, in, in easy way we can say uh, pragmatics is actually the branches of linguistics um, concerned with the use of language in social context and the ways in which people produce and comprehend meaning through language. Pragmatics usually uh, focuses to explain the meaning which cannot be found in plain sense of words or structures as uh, we usually explain uh, as uh, it is explained by uh, semantics. Considered a sign uh, for example uh, a sign um, a, a sign seen a children's workshop windows uh, uh, mentioning baby say lots of bargain. Uh, whenever we see um, baby sale lots of bargain in the window of a uh, children's workshop, uh, we uh, know without, with, without asking anyone that there are no babies for sale actually. What is actually sale for is the items used for babies. Pragmatics actually allows uh, us to is investigate how the meaning beyond the words can be understood without obscurity or ambiguity. Then our uh, last branches of uh, descriptive uh, uh, linguistics is discourse analysis. 
Discourse analysis is the study of the ways in which language is used in text and context or text surrounding and defining discourse. It is also called discourse studies. In short, we can say discourse analysis, uh, uh, discourse analysis is actually the study of written or spoken discourse of a, a language. We have gone far today. Uh, it is time to end the class. Uh, if you like uh, this class, please like, comment and share with friends. Allah Hafiz.